top 10 20 strongest One Piece characters. Um, now let's Today go. we'll be ranking top 20 it's a a longer strongest video. characters in One Piece. We'll start with one of the strongest admirals, Kizaru, and in the later Kizaru. parts of okay. the video, we'll be covering some of the strongest characters that are on par with Woo, the legends. Let's go. Borsalino, more commonly known by his alias Kizaru, is an admiral in the Kizaru. Marines. Befitting his admiral status, Kizaru's physical prowess is immense. His raw strength was enough for him to trade equal blows with the Elder Rayleigh and even oh my God. Whitebeard himself face to face. Generally, Kizaru's Damn. melee attack style emphasizes incredibly heavy kicks via his ability to move at the speed of light, he allowing likes to him kick? to easily okay. demolish entire buildings and incapacitate what? pirates of noticeable skill with a single blow. Kizaru ate the Pika Pika no Mi, a Logia-type devil fruit that allows him to create, control, and transform light? his body into light. He's also able oh, to perform so kicks cool. at the speed of light, shoot laser beams, and blind his opponents. During the summit war, Kizaru fought several sick. strong pirates on equal footing. However, Whitebeard and Marco were the only Pika pirates Pika that no prompted the Admiral to fight somewhat seriously. He That's was ultimately cool. one of the few people to emerge from the war wholly unscathed. Not a mark to show for it. The? After each character, we'll also predict how strong they'll be by the end of the series. And you'll Dude, he deserves more than a D, chat. Or maybe, I, I, don't, I don't know, okay. Be surprised by some of the what results. do I know? Hey, In what do I know? Case, I don't know. I don't really think he'll get much stronger than he currently is, so his place will stay the same. <laughs> also, if you stick to the end of this video, I'll share an interesting fact about Shanks that 95% of people don't know. No way, Jack! 19. No Al way! Alkiji is a former Marine Admiral and the first one to be revealed in the manga. Arguably the greatest Squadron yet testament to his strength is his duel against Akainu. In this battle, he matched his extremely strong adversary for a total of 10 days until he suffered his Damn. Defeat. His attack speed is notable as well, with him managing to He's intercept Whitebeard's quake-powered Naginata mid-swing by fully encapsulating its wielder in ice. Against Doflamingo, Holy he chat. fast and stealthy enough to sneak up on him, taking his back <laughs> without the Warlord noticing until Aokiji spoke. What? He then prevented him from dealing a killing blow to Smoker by icing him up faster than he could move his hand while leaving Smoker untouched. Before okay. his loss against Akainu, Aokiji was considered to be the strongest marine admiral. Therefore, he deserves the 19th spot on the list right above Kizaru. Also, I don't think he'll get any important power-ups, so his place should be the same at the end of the series left to cover. And the next one is almighty Kizuki Odin. Even when he Kizuki was nine, Odin? Odin was already such a skilled swordsman that he waged like war the against God the entire Odin? Yakuza and was able to fight against them all by himself. At the age nice. of 10, he was eventually arrested for almost killing someone. When he grew up, hey? in his interaction with Whitebeard, Odin took a point blank quake punch from Whitebeard straight to the face and was fine afterwards. <laughs> Additionally, he held onto a chain pulled by the Moby Dick and faced many what? dangers and climates <laughs> of the New World Ocean with no protection okay. for three days before eventually letting go. More because he went to rescue Toby for three than days? exhaustion. Prior to his prime when he met Roger and got hit by his divine departure, Odin got back up immediately with only minor injuries. In the anime during his fight against this Kaido, Odin was hit by his blast breath not just once but twice and powered through them and both was times. Fine? As a testament to Dude. his monstrous strength and endurance, what Odin did he was able eat? to hold up all nine of his retainers on a thick wooden plank while his lower half was submerged in a large pot of boiling oil for over an hour. An unprecedented hold feat up. that impressed what? even Kaido. Since Odin was able to hold his ground against Kaido and would possibly even win if he wasn't distracted by Higurashi, he certainly deserves to be placed above Admiral. How is this Since guy Odin still on D? Dead, his place at the end of the series would obviously stay the same. Number 17. This dude was boiling for an hour. <laughs> Silver's Rayleigh, also known as the Dark King, okay. is an extremely powerful and famous How much pirate pirate. How stronger can you get? As the first mate of the legendary Roger Pirates. Shakuyaku stated that he was 100 times stronger than all of the 11 supernovas by the time they first arrived in the Sabaudi archipelago. Rayleigh's tremendous battle prowess allowed him to fight on par with Admiral Kizaru, preventing him from attacking the Straw Hat Pirates. However, Rayleigh himself has admitted that he's not as young as he used to be, and as a result, can tire in battle. This means that in his prime, he was old, probably chat. much stronger than when he fought Kizaru. It's really difficult to say if Rayleigh was stronger than Odin in his prime, bit. but since he was Roger's first mate, we'll put him higher on the list. But this guy just it can puts everyone in D. Number 16. Mama? Big Mom. Charlotte Linlin, better known as Big Mom, Big Mom, is the captain of the Big Mom Pirates. As she was one of the I'm four emperors, dick. she was considered to be one of the four strongest that pirates Minecraft in the world. Character. When her former fellow emperor Kaido threatened to kill her if she came to his territory, Big Mom simply invited him to try and said he wouldn't be able to dissuade Damn. her. Even the Straw Hat Pirates recognized that she could crush <laughs> them quickly and easily if they fought her recklessly. Linlin acquired the powers of the Soto Soto no Mi after eating its previous owner, Carmel. This is the only known she devil fruit her? power that was acquired through the means of cannibalism. This fruit Bro. allows her to manifest people's souls as an ethereal substance that she can she grab hold of, her? so long as the intended victim feels fear. She can then steal the soul from the victim, 
taking away oh my their God. lifespan by an amount of her choosing. Once she has them, Big Bomb can infuse the stolen souls into objects to give them life, turning them into beings called homies, which act as her servants. Homies? She can also consume her own soul in order <laughs> Yo, to make my herself homies? bigger and stronger. Big Bomb also possesses immense mastery in the uses of Haushoku okay. Haki. She was first seen using it at Sanji and Pudding's wedding, and was later seen again when she fought with Kaido at Onigashima. The clash of their Haushoku Haki was powerful enough to cause a massive shockwave that split the sky open. Although Big Mom never fought any of the previously mentioned characters, is one of the four emperors, she should be stronger. As she goes in C. Number 15, Blackbeard. Blackbeard is the captain to okay. admiral of the Black. I've heard Blackbeard is one of the strongest characters. Is, is he gonna put him in C? Pirates, and currently one of the four emperors. By some unknown method, Blackbeard became the first and so far only known person to be able to wield the powers of two devil fruits oh, yeah, at yeah, the yeah. same time. With the power of darkness, the yummy yummy no mi, and the power of earthquakes, the gura gura no mi, Blackbeard claims himself to be truly invincible and the strongest of them all. Teach also possesses tremendous Reminds me of Thanos with the rings. When he seriously a little bit. An ace in just one hit, sending them both crashing back with incredible force. In the anime, he was shown to be able to knock back and injure Whitebeard with a few punches, a feat that shocked the other members of the Whitebeard Pirates. An example Damn. of his sheer endurance is that he took a point-blank gear second attack from an enraged Luffy and was hit by Sengoku in his Daibutsu form, only to come out with minor injuries both times. Teach also shows incredible tolerance to <laughs> pain, <laughs> as despite his devil fruit Freaking and strong, man. Pain, it never stops him for long. We didn't see much of Blackbeard since he acquired the powers of Gura Gura no Mi, but it's certain that now he's one of the strongest Strongest B? characters alive. It's Therefore, gonna be we B. placed him above oh. Big Mom. Blackbeard will probably face I guess C. sometime near the end of the series, and I'm pretty sure he'll get some pretty insane power ups. And because of that, <laughs> his place on the list will be much power. around ninth place. Number fourteen. He goes Dragon. to A. The Revolutionary Army <laughs> okay. is the group of rebels who are not controlled by the Fox Moral Regime of the World Government, and see how it continuously controls and ruins the. Chat. Who's your favorite man. character? The leader of this group is the world's worst criminal, Monkey D. Dragon, the man who dedicated. Luffy. Life to stop the celestial dragons and bringing true freedom to the world. Dragon's first appearance was in Logatown, where he stopped Marine Captain Smoker, who previously seemed impenetrable due to his devil fruit. Dragon casually stopped Smoker from killing his son, and the Marine Captain himself knew that he was in the presence of Actually a man that smoke. he clearly cannot defeat. Unlike Garp and Luffy, Dragon is more serious personality-wise and very focused on his goal of creating the new world order. Dragon would save and train Sabo, Luffy's adopted brother, after he got shot and badly injured by a celestial dragon. This shows how dangerous Dragon could be, as he was able to raise a fairly ordinary child into becoming his second in command and one of the deadliest men in all the seas. Dragon, hey. albeit an enigma to most people, is actually known around the world due to his active recruitment of new members into the army. Although Dragon is pretty much confirmed to have weather-based powers, as of now, he's a we bad don't guy? know how strong he actually is. His current place on the list is purely a speculation, and it's possible that he's much stronger than this. So for the end of the series, Damn. we'll put Dragon a bit higher, around 10th place. Number 13. Okay. Mihawk. As the strongest Yay. swordsman in the world and former rival of Shanks, so cool. Mihawk is an immensely skilled combatant. He easily defeated Don Krieg's entire fleet of 50 ships and 5,000 men by himself, with only the main ship surviving because of bad This video is good chat, right? His That's a good video. His strength is so great that Don Krieg even accused him of having the devil fruit powers. A true testament to Mihawk's abilities is that after the seven warlords he of doesn't have any abolished, fruit? his bounty was raised to 3 billion 590 million bellies. One of the highest bounties in the world that even surpasses two of the current four emperors. He's incredible. Wait, they say berries or bellies? Once again, when Buggy became an emperor, simply because the Marines thought Mihawk was serving under him. In the no, past, Buggy. he was also known as the Marine Hunter. Zoro himself admitted that even after training with Mihawk, he's still not anywhere near his level of skill as a swordman. Further attesting to Mihawk's that's a cool and swordman. Prowess. True to his epithet, Hawkeyes. Mihawk also possesses extraordinary skill Haki? in Kenbun Shoku Haki, as he was able to easily track Luffy's high-speed gear 2 movements and strike with extreme precision. As someone Easy. who's rivaled Shanks in the past and fought him multiple times without losing, Mihawk is definitely on par with Emperors and deserves his spot above the likes of Big Mom and Blackbeard. Number what? 12, Luffy. Okay. As one of the four Emperors and at the young age of It's kind of interesting that in One Piece, Luffy's not really considered to be the strongest character. There's still more stronger characters which i like because it gives space for progression right he's proven his physical might you don't and i feel like there is fun where there's like an anime where the the main character just destroys everyone with one click it's it's fun for a little bit but when you have an anime of like 1000 plus episodes you want to see a progression how many times can you watch someone just snap their fingers and kill 
the bad guy um, for a thousand episodes. Time you know? again. Having developed a significant level of strength to match some of the world's most powerful It's also fighters. like when you grow up watching this and uh, when you can follow the progression and you can get attached to it and it's like, whoa, look how much stronger he got from this um, when he was younger to now, right? Livy has utilized think. his gears. Transformation techniques made possible by his devil fruit powers to tremendously increase his physical strength and subdue powerful opponents like Bluno, Rob Lucy, and Don Quixote do Flamingo. During the climax of the I feel like Luffy's at least gonna be B, right? He managed to awaken his devil fruit. This gave him the ability to transform into the sun god Nika. After awakening, Luffy. I feel like he's gonna be B, but at the end of the anime, it might be A many new abilities, such as being able to freely manipulate the shape and size of his body. <coughs> he also takes on a more cartoonish fighting style, hey, being able to grant the environment around him the same properties oh, yeah. as rubber, which allowed him to deflect a bolo breath by bouncing it back at Kaido. Luffy is only one of two confirmed Luffy. people in the world capable of not only using all three forms of hockey, Imagine but the advanced if he application of each one. Most notably, Silver's Relay stated that he had- Imagine if Luffy ate two- it's a noticeable talent for hockey, having mastered the basics of all forms in only a year and a half. Through fighting against and training with powerful hockey users in the new world, Luffy strengthened his skill with each form of hockey to a much greater degree and became even more powerful. As of now, we can't place Luffy any higher on the list as he still didn't master his See? abilities. However, in the future, after Luffy proves his might using well, fit, he'll definitely surpass some of the characters that are currently above him. Therefore, he'll probably be around second place. Oh, yes, yeah, yeah, yeah I, I meant. A kind yeah, yeah, yeah. As with all admirals, Sakazuki's physical prowess is For some reason, I thought A was the highest. His raw physical strength was enough for him uh, to go up against and clash evenly with Whitebeard, the strongest man in the world in close quarters. Perhaps most impressive, however, are Sakazuki's vast durability and endurance. This I is love that, like, Hawaiian how short, not even two uh, successive shirt. quake punches from Whitebeard could keep him down. The second blow strong enough to split the island of Marine Fort in two as a what? side effect. Sakazuki ate the side effect. No Mi, a Logia type devil fruit that allows him to create, control, Magma? and transform his body into magma. His Ooh. magma is extremely hot and highly explosive, thus making it well suited for combat, allowing Sakazuki Damn. to burn, melt, and destroy anything in his path. In That's fact, cool. among all Devil Fruits, Sakazuki's is said to offer the greatest attack power. Akainu's primary method of combat is transforming his arms into magma to launch burning punches that can easily Holy penetrate human bodies. He can actual also devil. drastically enlarge his arms to throw forward giant magma fists meant to reach enemies How do you away. fight that? Although Sakazuki is vulnerable <sighs> to the attacks, the heat his body creates has enemies is heavily discouraged from coming near and striking him physically, lest they be burned. Luffy and Akainu will surely cross paths at some point in the future, and it'll definitely be an interesting battle to see yeah. the least. At this moment, it's really hard to say which one of them is more powerful, but for now, we'll put Akainu on the 11th place. With Akainu covered, we're only halfway there, and these halfway? next characters are on a There's... completely different level. Number 10. For real? Sengoku Prime. Sengoku, okay. the Buddha, is one of the most <laughs> underrated characters in the world of One Piece. Sorry guys, Sengoku I'm too sick. is a very intelligent man who dedicated his life to serving the Marines, protecting the lives of the innocent, and extinguishing the evil of piracy in the world. He was very good at using hockey, and he also possesses the mythical zoan type devil fruit that allows Hito, Hito. him to transform into the mighty and powerful Golden Buddha. His strength is yeah, not around cool, the world man. with the likes of Roger seeing him and his partner Garp as the only worthy adversaries who could stand a chance against him in a fight. This would make him one of the world government's strongest form of offense against the world's strongest pirates. After Roger was captured, he and Garp would stop the Pirate King from being rescued by Golden Shigi when he broke in to recover Roger from the Marine Ford headquarters. As the Whoa. fleet admiral before Akainu, as well as the mythical Zoan type devil fruit user, Sengoku is Basically well placed a badass. spot. Number nine, He's the first B. Shigi. Shigi was the captain of the Golden Pirate crew, and during his time with them, he would become one of the most dangerous and noteworthy captains in all the That series. is Shigi. such a cool hairstyle, my dude. <laughs> is that wait that's um the wheels like steering wheel right and then that's his hair that's cool. captains in all the seas shiki was one of roger's greatest rivals and has battled him many times in the past at one point shiki even offered Best roger friends? to form an alliance together oh. but roger refused due to their different ideals this would anger shiki oh he mad of his 51 commanding divisions he yep. attacked roger and his crew in a battle that would come to be known as ed war years later after roger got captured <laughs> shiki couldn't believe it when he heard the news and so he single-handedly went all the way to the marine front yard demanding that he saw roger there he was engaged oh, by wow. garp and 
Sengoku and was eventually defeated and sent to Impel Down. <laughs> Shiki would defy all odds and be the oh, first damn. one to break out of the prison, but at the cost of losing his legs. Golden Lion Shiki is one of the Holy. legendary pirates to sail the seas and a vicious force <laughs> that most people would not stand a chance against in a fight. A guy's Since a crazy. lot of Shiki's achievements are non-canon, we can't be sure how strong he Got really rid of is, his legs. but considering that it took both Garp and Sengoku to bring him down, he's definitely at least Emperor level. Number 8. Kaido. Ooh, Kaido. Is the world's strongest creature, Kaido is one of the most powerful I think he's going to be world. the first A, Notably, right? He has a bounty of 4,600,100,000 bellies, which is the highest known bounty of any pirate in his era, surpassed only by the bounties of the legends like Whitebeard and Goldie Roger. With a one-handed swing of his Kanabo, he can send normal-sized people flying into the distance, and he broke past the tremendous defensive power of Luffy's Gear 4 with ease. Sengoku once said that even a mere apprentice in the Rocks Pirates, Kaido was able to earn the respect of his vicious companions through his sheer strength alone. He's a Kaido's mad body is nigh indestructible, and even attacks strengthened by Busa Shokuhaki I mean, dude, he's his insanely tough skin. He received a powerful barrage of Gear 4 hits from Luffy and only became sober and felt nothing more than annoyance, receiving <laughs> no injuries whatsoever. He's like, as if his incredible stop strength it, isn't enough, Kaido You're also angry possesses me. one of the mythical Zoan Devil Fruits, Uo Uo what no a beast. Mi, model Seiryu, which allows him to turn into a giant dragon. As a dragon, he can release devastating blasts of fire what? from his mouth, which can fully obliterate large structures, such as an entire mountain and the castle that stood on it. Kaido has mastered his devil fruit powers to the point where Just he wiped can access clean. some of his abilities without needing to transform, such as generating flame clouds to levitate Onigashima. The reason Kaido is ranked above Luffy on this list is simply because he's already fought a bunch of other characters and was wounded oh. before engaging Luffy. I don't Therefore, think I've seen Big Mommy yet. Full power, it's not really clear if Luffy oh. could defeat him. Number seven, Shanks. Red-haired Shanks, commonly known Shanks. as just Red Hair, is the chief of the Red Hair Pirates and one of the four emperors that rule over the New World. Shanks possesses immense physical strength. <laughs> he was once a rival to Mihawk, the strongest swordsman in the world. Even with only one arm, Shanks can wield his sword with immense power, able to easily match Whitebeard. What? With his physical Ooh. strength combined with Busa Shoku Haki, Shanks Damn. can defend against the Kainu's extremely destructive Magma Fist. Shanks possesses vast mastery in the okay. usage of Hao Shoku Haki, a rare type of Haki that only under one in several million people in the world can use. When boarding Whitebeard's main ship, Shanks was capable of knocking dozens of his men unconscious, many of whom were seasoned what? pirates able to survive the new world. Also, the flagship itself just was damaged from the sheer force of his presence, impressing those just around Just his him. presence? A true testament to his mastery of hockey is seen during the one he's of the He's the he Giga Chad. a powerful burst of Haoshoku Haki to paralyze Ryokugyu while on his ship miles outside of Wano, stopping him in his tracks without even needing to set foot in the country. Simply Bro. based on this, he deserves a spot above all currently Ooh, alive emperors. First a. As for the end of the series, it's very likely that Shanks would turn out to be much stronger than he appears S? and possibly have some secret powers we don't know about. If this turns out to be true, his place on the list would be a bit higher, around 5th place. Number 6. Garp Prime Monkey D. Garp is an extremely famous and powerful Marine Vice Admiral. He's considered a living legend and is one of the most powerful Marines in history. A true legend. In his heyday, he was famous for cornering Goldie Roger many times, as he was one of the very few people capable of fighting the Pirate King. In fact, Roger states that he and Garp had almost killed each other many times throughout their battles. As a testament to his strength, together with Roger, he fought and defeated the Rocks Pirates, the most powerful pirate crew in history. This Ooh. tremendous feat earned Garp the title Hero of the Marines. Never heard As of another them testament to his sheer power, Garp defeated and nearly <coughs> killed Don Qingzhao in the past with a single punch, whose bounty was over 500 million bellies and was said to be able to split a continent with a headbutt. <laughs> this earned him the epithet Garp the Fist. I love that. Even at the ripe age of 76, he was shown to be able to easily strike down Mark of the Fist. 76 per what? Having his he was shown to be 76, he, oh, pre -time he was shown to be able to easily headbutt. This earned him the epithet Garp the Fist. Even at the ripe age of 76, 76 pre time skip. Okay. He was shown to be able to easily strike down Mark of the Phoenix, despite having his Devil Fruit abilities activated at the time, which was something that both Kizaru and Akainu seemed unable to do. Based on that, Ooh. we can't put him any lower on the list. Only five more incredible characters are left. Five and more if you boys, already made top it this five far, here. You definitely won't want to stop watching now. Okay. Number five, Whitebeard. Chat. Edward Ninja, Don't stop watching. more commonly known as Whitebeard and the strongest man in the world, was the captain of the Whitebeard, the boy himself. In his prime, he stood shoulder to shoulder with the pirate king, Goldie Roger, and was capable of fighting him to a standstill in one-on-one -on -one combat. Even in his old age, he was able to effortlessly Ever defeat so Ace over a hundred times. On one occasion, I feel like Luffy and his crew is like the new generation. Sleeping. During the summer 
summit warrior of Marine Ford, Newgate's health was declining at a rapid rate. But despite this, he was able to engage in combat with Aokiji, Kizaru, Actually, such and Akai on even terms. Even when on the verge of death, he was able to easily defeat Blackbeard in two blows. The world government was prepared to use Damn. practically the entire and Marine two? Force plus the seven warlords of the sea to fight Newgate and his crew. However, Sengoku even remarked that their victory wouldn't be guaranteed due to Whitebeard's overwhelming power. Whitebeard ate the Gura Gura no Mi, a paramecia-type devil fruit that allowed him to cause quakes and generate powerful shockwaves. This power is considered Dude, to be it the looks strongest like he's devil fruit time in space. the paramecia class. According to Almost. Sengoku, Whitebeard had the power to destroy the world. His quakes would cause serious damage and alterations to the surrounding landscape. He actually can destroy the world. The surrounding area itself and tilt it, described as making the entire sea tilt. Similarly what? to Garp, Whitebeard was one of Roger's biggest rivals and as such deserves one of the highest places Dude. on the list. Number looks... 4. Gold She can Roger. destroy the world. How Roger was stronger do you get? Roger pirate who, as captain of the Roger Pirates, held the title of Pirate King. Roger was hailed as one of the strongest pirates of all time. What can he destroy? Strongest, considered nearly Everything? unstoppable in battle. Roger had the highest bounty ever in pirating history, over <clears> 5 billion 500 million bellies. He could also clash evenly with Whitebeard. It's even said that their fight once lasted for 3 days and 3 nights straight, until it resulted in a draw. Roger also possessed okay. immense levels of endurance and vitality, even when his body <laughs> was ravaged by an incurable disease. Aided by Crocus's medical skills, he managed to conquer the Grand Line in a mere 3 years. As the wow. only pirate king ever, Roger is undeniably one of the strongest characters that ever lived. The fact about Shanks that I'm sharing at the end actually happened during his first appearance in episode 4, and I'm going to tell you exactly what it is as soon as we cover the last three I like how Luffy's on the list. Number three, predicted Rock the only predicted one to get uh, an S Rock rank. Zebek. Along with Roger, Rox was one of the strongest pirates of that era. His yep. face hasn't been revealed yet, I mean, but from his silhouette, we can see that he had long and spiky dreadlocks and used to wear a sailor's coat alongside a button shoulder Damn. belt. Rox, according to all the stories about him, was a ruthless man who had great ambition of attaining power and becoming the king of the world. He was known all around the world as a dangerous man who was known he to looks cause like chaos he's smoking, and dude. everywhere he went. The world government wanted to put an end to him because he continuously tried to uncover their secrets as well as destroy <laughs> the marines and celestial dragons. Possibly his most impressive <laughs> feat is that he had three future emperors serving under him, Whitebeard, Big Mom, and Kaido. The appearance Damn, of the king in Rock's under him? and his accomplishments would make him so dangerous to the point where it took the unholy alliance of Monkey D. Garp and Pirate Gold D. Roger to finally take him down for good. Oh. Kaido even pictured Zebek alongside legendary and powerful figures like Shanks, Odin, Whitebeard, and Roger, further hinting at Zebek's might. At the end of the day, it would not be a stretch to say Rox was arguably the strongest and most dangerous pirate to ever live. He was the Pirate King's greatest That's crazy. rival, and was only taken down due to the alliance between and you don't even and see him that much? Men. This fact makes it clear that Zebek was definitely the strongest pirate of his era and could easily defeat First anyone who S. opposed him. Number 2. First true Emu. S. The world of One Piece is primarily ruled who? by the powerful and resourceful world government. It owns the marines who bring law and order Dude, who is that? across Chat. the world. What was that? The Gorosei are the public rulers of the world Emu? government, but they secretly report to Emu, who's the like hidden the bird? master and governor of the entire world's operation. Emu might rule from the shadows, but he's aware of everything that goes on in the world he's and the gets all the information he needs through the Gorosei and the newspapers. During Emu's first appearance, he cut out photos of Luffy, Blackbeard, Vivi, and Shirahoshi. Emu clearly wants okay. all of them destroyed because unknowingly to them, they pose a huge threat to the system he created in this world. It's Their very secrets. likely that Emu knows all the secrets of the world, including he knows the, it all. the Void Sentry. This is why he erased most of it from the history books and destroyed Ohara. Yo, Recently evil! In the manga, we got to see what Emu is capable of. In chapter like 1060, we saw Emu but crossing an island of Lelugia from the map, and immediately after, the island was struck by a blast from the sky, completely destroying it. Because what? Of this, a lot of fans okay, believe dude. that Emu is in possession of- Well, the thing is, is it- him, his power is doing that, or does he have some kind of like device that just like boop, you know, like a star destroyer? One of the ancient weapons, Uranus. Oh, okay. If this is true, Uranus? this alone would make him one of the most dangerous characters in the series. Number one, Joy Boy. Joy Boy is one of the biggest mysteries Joy and of One Piece. His name would be mentioned for the first time during the end of Looks the Fisherman like Island. Looks like Luffy's dad. Neptune talked to Robin after seeing her read the apology <coughs> or he something. into Poneglyph. Joy Boy appears to have been around during the Void Joy Boy! and for some unknown reason oh, dude, my failed voice. to fulfill a promise he made to the former princess of Fishman Island and her people. Joy Boy is the person who located Laugh Tale and placed the ultimate treasure, One Piece, there. Although That's... Joy Boy's appearance was never revealed in the story, he's usually imagined it's... by fans as a laughing giant who wears similar straw hats It's to Luffy's dad. 
Based on the recent revelations of the Goma Gomu fruit and the reveal that it's actually mythical Zoan type devil fruit, it's more than likely Joy Boy was the past owner of this fruit, which granted its users the power to do anything they desire. Joy Boy was Aww. a companion to the island sized elephant, Zanesha, and he would communicate with it via an ability known as the Voice of All Things. Joy Boy so was cool. prophesized to return 800 years after the Void Century, and during the third arc of Wano, when Luffy awakened his devil fruit, Zanesha would tell Momonusuke that Joy Boy has returned. Luffy awakened his devil fruit Damn. very recently and didn't yet master its power. If Joy Boy had the same devil fruit, he was definitely way more experienced at using it than Luffy currently is. Yes. Now let's cover a fact about Shanks that I was talking about. Okay. At the very beginning of the anime in episode 4, Shanks lost his arm while saving Luffy from the Sea King. However, after that, Shanks just angrily looked at the Sea King and the monster immediately escaped. This was because Shanks actually used Hockey to scare the Sea King, even though Hockey would be properly introduced hundreds of episodes later. Got top 30 strongest Honorable One Piece characters. Them, we have no idea exactly how strong they are, but okay. based on how they Honorable really get Jinbei and Sanji, we have a lot to look forward to there, but just not enough yet. We just gotta see a bit more. Jinbei, he is honorable mentions as well. He just missed the list. Interesting. He could be on it. Him and 30 and 29 and even 28 are pretty interchangeable, but he just didn't make it because he's fat. I'm kidding. Queen, <laughs> he's not off the list as well because he's fat, but just Queen, I, I was unimpressed largely, and that's basically why. Cracker, I think Cracker's not on this Cracker? list just because of... Well, well, he can't hang. I, I think Cracker's utility is phenomenal in regards to just creating multiple strong as hell biscuits. It's just he gets one hit, he's rolled. And so, just a glass Kobe, as cannon, well. eh? Kobe has made a leap based on showing absolutely nothing, just story plot and possible progression. So, Kobe makes a lot of people's lists typically just because he's Kobe and we expect him to make an impact going forward. Lucky was mm. also on my honorable mentions. I feel like I'm lowballing the hell out of him. I just don't know enough to put him there. It is a contradictory statement because I have other characters on here that we don't know much about, but they're on the list. But that's just that's just what it is. He probably makes my 2023 top third list though, because I think Shanks does make a move. Either way, we have to move on because this video is getting quite long. So 30, we have Doflamingo. People may say Doflamingo has Do no Flamingo, business being okay. in the top 30 list in 2022. I agree. I'm just biased. And I feel like Doflamingo is probably one of the most versatile like fighters him. we've ever seen. Hella utility. And I may be scaling him up a bit because I think Oda's gonna do the same once he escapes Impo down. 29, Rob Lucci. Yeah, Rob Lucci did not have an amazing showing against uh, Monkey D. Luffy, the sun god, the, the main character, the plot, plot, no me himself. I'm kidding. I'm <laughs> I'm kidding. Come on. We love Luffy over here. <laughs> I think he did a lot better than people expected. People are going to change. He it looks cool. He, he, really well, cool he, he didn't really do anything. Well, y'all said he was going to get knocked out and he, he didn't get knocked out. Well, he did get knocked out. He was losing consciousness, so it's funny. But he thought we'd get one shot by Gear 5, which he probably should have, but plot, you know, it, it exists. And so it makes no sense to get Rob Lucci out of the way right now because he's still important to the, the rest of the arc. So he made it on the list, having an awakening as a Zoan. Kaido didn't even have an awakening box. And Rob Lucci had it. And Oda is just basically signifying just how stronger he's gotten. So he gets some credit here for me. 28, Weevil, the r respectful one himself. He is one that makes a list solely because I oh think of God. plot or just story progression. As we go further into the story, the stronger characters are going to be in Weevil. We haven't seen him yet, really. And so, you guys remember when Marco was flying back to his island and there was like a little, huh, who's there? I, I think it might be Weevil. And if Weevil rolls Marco, which makes most sense for the story, he might have to move up this list. No, definitely we have to move up this list. So, here is just a safe way to put him. Now, 27, Magellan. Magellan, I, I don't think he'll ever go off of my list just because of what, what? I saw him. Okay, this down. guy looks he had so interesting. Multiple people that... Okay, been on this list. But multiple people that were on last year and the year what before the list, they were Dark running Kodachi? away. Crocodile was running away. Jimmy was running away. Luffy got folded a couple of times. Blackbeard and his entire crew got folded. Magellan's only issue that people have against him is that he was <laughs> against a, a bazooka from Luffy pre-skip. Uh, pre and that doesn't look good on a resume. It doesn't. However, it's oh. pre-time skip. Power skill is a lot different. Hockey is not as introduced. But Magellan, putting someone like that over in Pow Down, I know, I know, I know. He is not the warden. He's the vice warden currently just off of stupid stuff but he deserves to be here i think 26 we got uh sanji. sanji sanji's gotten a lot stronger ever since he well wano specifically in regards sanji, to his my body boy. awakening and him having regen recalibration whatever the hell you want to call it he can put his body back together or at least his bones that power that force with ifrit jambe he was already yeah. pretty damn strong and fast weight equals speed i forgot the actual equation either way getting stronger <laughs> getting faster he is going to be be devastating once we see him go all out again and you know he kind of did nerf himself by throwing away his raid suit you know what i'm saying but yeah 26 is sanji 25 i have marco this may be a bit low for some people but i think i think marco's gonna lose to weevil when they meet again unfortunately i don't know 
maybe he is really strong i just worry about his knockout potential just based off of how does well, marco knock anyone out right i don't know, I don't know. how are they related though i don't know if that's true but uh i like, don't think what, stocks went down for marco and wano i was kind of shocked that he could not last a bit longer based on his ability where he can heal himself like he was literally out of stamina after though it's hard to perceive how much time it passed but it feels like about 10 minutes fighting king and queen and that's highballing it so here's the thing though people don't respect queen as much king for sure and he did a good job holding them both off for a little bit so marco was utility in wano i don't want to downplay him but i mean he's got some yeah, super 25. cool 25. powers though like what is that blue flame wings boa and she's somebody that if i did an in-depth breakdown of power scaling she would be higher based on her ability boa for sure Bow. but for right now just based on what we've seen I, I think she's good at 24 not really trying to get too much into the hacks of if you're feeling her or if she munch you know no, no. if she's attractive <laughs> to you we saw how baby boa in an egg had turned marines into stone because they were attracted to a younger looking female that, which is a bit weird hell? either way that power is overwhelming so what? try to scale her somewhere and 24 feels a bit safe for me but it's that's kind weird. of where she is that brings us to 23 where we have king i think king for whatever reason has become underrated in the community i don't know if because after zoro okay. unlocked enmo unlocked his advanced conquest hockey he kind of got rolled but he has amazing power amazing durability when you know his flame on flame off thing is going on and he's fast and he can hunt king looks like he's from like warhammer like or they something. hunted back in the day and he has amazing bdsm outerwear so i mean he's on the list i just don't feel like he gets the credit that he should i may be downplaying him as well but hey man the people on this list are strong and 22 that brings us to category <laughs> a lot of people tell me that i'm biased when it comes to category i'm just like you're right i am like i tell you guys that all the time category that's my guy that's like one of my favorite characters if not my favorite character <laughs> in one piece so we saw what happened in whole cake island where basically he let luffy live he let luffy do whatever he wanted to do but he could have eradicated luffy either way category could have has ended all three him forms right of there. hockey conquerors he has levels to his arm in hockey he has the top of observation hockey <laughs> everybody's problem in category is his knockout power because he could not knock out Luffy. Well, if no Luffy got hit with that goddamn trident one time, it would have been over. But of course, he can't get hit with it because he's monkey Luffy. I think Katakuri has enough utility, enough smarts to defeat anyone below him. But that doesn't mean he can't lose to anyone below him. Like these mm. people are relative. He could lose to Boa. He could lose to King. He could lose to Marco. He could lose to Sanji. He could lose to Magellan. Like they're in the same range. I just because of preference and bias, I put him above those other guys. That's basically what this list is, right? It's a list basically compiling thirty people that I think are really strong with my biases included like it, it's no technicality to it really and if you try to take it more seriously than that and I, I don't know you're just a loser i i don't, I don't know what to, say. I don't know what to say it's not that serious it's just like it's a fun thing that we should be having fun with you know category 22 21 i have kid yeah yeah i've been seeing some top 30 lists recently and for whatever reason kid has been left off of some lists what is wrong with y'all y'all are trash if you do that just fyi because kid deserves Under, there's to be actually on this list. like a proper like way to calculate people's powers in one piece i don't think so right otherwise that would kind of make kid it was like, not law necessarily in wano right law was sussy but kid did a lot of things that a lot of people don't respect okay first off and this is the only thing i'm gonna say okay so only thing kid made big mom dodge and that was the first time other than when she told kaido to be aware of zero i mean enma in wano other than that that's the only time big mom ever dodged an attack different there are more things right like the beautiful craftsmanship of his works man like they should be in a museum bro like, that doesn't matter here. Kid at 21. At 20, I have Sengoku. I, I understand. Like, why do I have this old man that's here turned gray in one year, two years? He still was a former fleet admiral. I don't think strength just goes away because you get old in One Piece. And he has an amazing devil fruit, a mythical fruit. And based off of how One Piece has been trending, these mythical yeah, fruits, that's they're, what it looks like. they're pretty impressive, man. We, we don't know exactly what he can do as a Buddha. I don't know if that's why he was He's super wise fruit? when it came to battle because Whitebeard did praise his IQ. I think he still deserves to be on the list. Now, 19, I have Law. And it's like, well, Law is already over the former fleet admiral. Well, yeah, no, we're just parsing here. Out of everybody in Wano, I think Law impressed me the most considering where he came from. And where he came from was getting Molly Wap by Doflamingo, who's 30 on this list. So it's a pretty big jump. But why did he jump this high? Well, Law unlocked several abilities in Wano, apparently, that we didn't know about. He had an Awakening. He had Curtain, which, again, is a defensive capability. We didn't know he had things like that. Gamma Knife, of course, obviously. Radio Knife. Law is just walking 
bullshit. Okay, I, I don't mean that. I kind of do because he used Corazon's Devil Fruit as well. He can do anything in his room. That's what they said, but that's not even true. He can do things outside of his room too now. Like, bro, he can throw his room at you. <laughs> Law 19. 18 what? of Yamato. And the only reason why Yamato okay, is over Law kinda... is basically because of the showing against Kaido anything? and she held out against her dad where he was trying to kill her and she has advanced conquerors. And I feel like that's the meta, right? It's like Yu-Gi-Oh! And you know, the meta comes out every <laughs> few months and it's just like, you gotta update your deck. You gotta get advanced cock, bro. And if you don't have it, then you're kind of falling behind. But you're like, well, everyone above her doesn't have advanced cock, but I, I mean, everyone above her just stronger. So yeah, I mean, that's basically the difference. I mean, she, she's strong, fairly strong, but advanced cock. That's, that sounds- Is there literally metas in like One Piece? Okay, like this season, or like this arc, this one's like OP. We were just saying, advanced conquers hockey. I'm not gonna say, um, I'm not gonna say it that way just because it may throw people off a little bit. 17, we got Rayleigh, the pretty dark king himself. Listen, Rayleigh is active. Rayleigh had fallen on this list a few years ago because it seemed like he had retired, not really doing much. He's active. He went all the way to confront Blackbeard over Boa Hancock, which he's he's really like a, a father figure to her. Let's let's be honest here. That old man is strong and he has advanced co uh, conquerors hockey as well. You got to give him his credit. We saw what he did against Kizaru. Rusty just pulling out his sword, hadn't used it in years, been gambling and hose behind Shaki's back. Well, she knew about it. Um, I had to take this out. I don't, I don't care. Either way, Ray has what? shown that he can hang with the best of them. Blackbeard walked away off of Rayleigh's reputation. Rayleigh said, well, I, I probably can't beat him right now, but off of what Rayleigh can do, and of course, Blackbeard was in that battle against the Whitebeard Pirates or against the Roger Pirates back in the day. So he saw Rayleigh in prime action when he stopped Marco with that one finger. He knows. You got to give Ray 17. 16, I have Zoro. He's like, Zoro's already surpassed Rayleigh. Oh. Advanced cock. I mean, advanced conquerors hockey. That is the difference. Why does he Right, and I think Zoro confirmed to have conquerors hockey, <laughs> confirmed to be in better control advanced of Enma. Enma I mean, mode is heck. just despicable, right? And I think again, Rayleigh has regressed as much as people don't want to acknowledge it. He said himself, he's not the man he used to be, which is probably not that far off. But Zoro has gone gotten a lot stronger, and I, I'm not gonna lie. If I was a betting man, they throw Zoro and Rayleigh in a fight today. I got Zoro walking out of it, man. I'm just, maybe a straw hat bias or straw hat tax. 15, we have Garp. Garp may go up this list based on what he does in 2023 because he's in a very precarious position that he's putting himself in by the way like no one's forcing him into that he's doing it because of kobe i mean garp is the, the hero of the marines right he doesn't have a you know documented 1v1 dub other than don chin Jiao, but hey man he gets a lot of acclaim and he's fighting against rocks he just with claims Roger. it garp is probably the strongest marine ever and again old age doesn't magically make your strength disappear in one piece and so garp at 15 man at 14 i have ben beckman uh ben beckman we don't know much about of course you guys are gonna know what i'm gonna go to right we're gonna go to that that statement about ben beckman being the moon to shanks his son which could mean any thing but i'm gonna spin it to say that it means that he's probably close to shanks in regards to strength uh -huh. he's like the right hand mm. thing right you know it's the right hand and first mate. he's one of the right hands like zoro and rayleigh that thing that's that's the only thing i I have with Ben Beckman because I saw him shoot. I saw him like use his his gun as a club. I don't got much else. Well, he has IQ, the highest IQ in the East Blue. Uh, so, yeah, <laughs> I mean that's what this list is, man. He's at 14, 13. Green Bull, yeah. Uh, the Green Bull stocks are down. I had on a Green Bull shirt uh, one day when I went into Target, and for whatever reason, people just started calling me trash for wearing that and said shanks better it was strange especially in target because target is like walmart but good what? and it has magical powers because you go there just end up spending a lot more money than he planned on and he walked out he's like where the fuck did these bags come from that's a target tangent a target um back to the list so Greenbull did not have a great showing in 2022 man it started off really well beating king and queen even though they were weakened you know ancient zones after seven days you know it's fine he beat both of them together pretty easily it seems well the anime is gonna probably add some more exposition he he was great until he got Wi-Fi hockeyed by Shanks and well things fell apart for the Green Bull narrative and then before that we found out Sabo hockey. got away from Green Bull and Fujitora along with everyone like everyone got away they captured no one and so we still don't know where, where Vivi is maybe they captured Vivi either way not a great showing however he's still an admiral and he still was managed to one shot commanders well we're not one shot beat two commanders he one shot a couple of the the alliance and he single-handedly forced Yamato to say you know what I cannot leave yeah you guys are not ready number 12 I have Sabo I have Sabo specifically over Green Bull because of the advantage type it's like Pokemon right but Green Bull he has an, a technique that can go against fire because he's like I'm an admiral you think just 
using fire is going to work against me. But it did. But it just has a technique that can work against it. I think Sabo is amazing. I think Sabo's gotten a lot stronger ever since he got the Mera Mera no Mi. He was strong before then with the dragon techniques in hockey. Add the Mera Mera no Mi with the techniques on top of that. The experience. The high pressure situations he's been in since then. People are starting to speculate that Sabo could have conquered hockey. Advanced conquers hockey as well. I don't know. Probably. I think I'm comfortable with Sabo being at 12. 11, we have mm. Fujitora. And, you know, one may say, well, Sabo and Fujitora are pretty much tied in Dressosa. I, I don't think so. That was my perspective. I think Fujitora had the upper hand there. They're comparable now, right? Sabo could very well beat Fujitora. Again, just because someone is over them doesn't mean that they would beat them, right? That just means that if I flip a coin, that's the person I'm picking. But but Sabo could absolutely win against Fujitora. So that's, you know, Fujitora at 11. 10, I have Dragon. I have no idea why I have him here. Okay, well, he, he is the leader of the revolution army and he is garp's son and luffy's dad and so he gotta be so much strong him you gotta show me something bud you got a little bit you got we went out of time buddy dragon used to be number one for me he's at 10 now by next year he might be at 15 if he doesn't do anything yeah behind <laughs> sabo yeah yep. just, just because make a move damn it now we have kizuru and this may be interesting 2023 because kizuru is on the move and he's going to egghead and it may fluctuate he may go up or down based on what he does in egghead granted he's going against luffy and he's going against Ooh. the main characters there's only only so much he can do. But based on all the L's the Admirals have taken lately, I think Oda may show them some grace and Kizaru may do some good things or he may get rolled. And if he gets rolled, then he he falls down this list. And we know Kizaru, we know what he can do. I'm not going to get through all of He's a light man. You get it. Number eight, I have Big Mom. Yeah, this is probably the lowest I've had Big Mom in a long time. And we all know what Big Mom can do. Her strength, her durability, her I feel like devil she's fruit. been really strong throughout the whole The reason show, why right? Big Mom is this low, you want to say, is I think she, out of all the Yonko, she's the one that can get got. Or people can get an attack in against her more than any other Yonko, Yonko, right? She's gullible. She can be dumb. She is just the laughing stock of the Yonko, even though she is intimidating as hell. If there's any Yonko that can get got, like 1v1 is Big Mom. I mean, she can even take out Marco at that time because she needed her souls or whatever. Not saying she's weak. She's not weak. I'm losing faith in Big Mom, and I feel like people are catching up based on her. She's getting old, man. Yeah, Big Mom at eight. At seven, I have Luffy. Yeah, I have Luffy over Big Mom. That's crazy, right? Three years ago, I would have been like, yeah, what? No freaking way. Luffy's over Big Mom. I think with Gear 5 and what he did against Damn. Kaido with that, that end of the fight with Bajron gun and everything he was able Gear to do, five. and again, Gear 5. I'm comfortable <clears> putting him over Big Mom because Big Mom, again, she's going to get hit a lot, and, and Luffy's going to hit it in the wrong way, and she might she might be done. I, Luffy at seven. At six, I have Aokiji. You're like, yo, we have Aokiji over Big Mom. I mean, Aokiji is one of those guys that I think is underrated as hell, considering that he lost to Akainu in 10 days and he was supposed to be the fleet admiral. As much respect as people give Garp, they equally disrespect the current admirals. I don't know why. People say that this is the best era of piracy. Pirates are stronger than ever, but the Marines, the main antagonist of them, they're going to be weaker than ever. So Aokiji, I'm giving him the credit of his abilities. Um, The fact that he took Akainu, who a lot of people have really highly, to 10 days. I got him at six. That could change in 2023. But right now, I got him at six. At five, I have Blackbeard. Yes, Blackbeard. Okay. I would never put out Kiji over Blackbeard. I don't think that would make much sense. Either. Blackbeard still has some growing to do. I think he still gets another Devil Fruit. But we all know what Blackbeard can do. I've been Bro, seeing more, gets another more things fruit. pop up where people are saying, well, Blackbeard is not even that strong. Blackbeard is weak. Why do you think Blackbeard is going to beat Gar? I have no idea where, where that's coming from. Like, if you don't think Blackbeard is currently top 10 and Blackbeard would beat an older Vice Admiral, and let us downplaying who Garp is, but come the frick on, guys. This is Blackbeard. He has two devil fruits. Two. And not two weak ones. Not like the jacket jacket and then Koro's own devil fruit. He has the Yami and the Gura. And I will talk about how Blackbeard will roll Garp or beat Garp. Not easily, but I'll talk about that because God, it's not disrespect to say Blackbeard is going to beat Garp, but him being five here makes a lot of sense. Four. Maybe a little bit controversial, Mihawk? but I have Mihawk. <laughs> My Mihawk respect has been growing. Last year I had Mihawk at five. Now I have him at four. Maybe this year, 2023, I have him at three. <laughs> yeah, so Mihawk, he's been growing just because, well, the story's been telling me that. The story confirmed what I've been feeling with giving Mihawk a higher bounty than Buggy, the person that he was looks the leader crazy, of though, Cross the yellow eyes. That never happens. He is the subordinate of Buggy, they're saying, right? They That's the, the narrative, the propaganda that's out there. And they went and said, you know what? We're still going to give him a higher bounty than, than Buggy. Then current Yonko. Marine Hunter? Mm. He might have an Admiral on that body, bro. I'm not going to lie. So Mihawk at four. Three, I have a Kainu. Other than that desk, I don't know if there's anyone right now that can hold him back and get away from him without sustaining heavy injuries. I think he's three, the leader though. of the new school for the Admirals or for the Marines because there's nobody else that's really stepping up. Greenbull, you know, we had hope in him at one point, at one point, and he ended up being a bitch of the Celestial Dragons. And so... 
Akainu's all we got, right? Akainu's the last of the Mohicans. Kizaru's headed there. We'll see how he does. But I mean, Akainu and his power, his output, and his There's perceived be growth after fighting out then. Kiji. I mean, I got him at three. At two, we have Kaido. What oh, else Kaido. is there to be said? Totally we saw what Kaido could do in Wano. Luffy managed to get the dub on Kaido. I don't want to downplay Luffy's dub, but let's be honest here. We saw what happened. We saw everybody at Kaido was fighting. We saw how Luffy basically took a smoke break in the middle of it. A couple, few times, actually. Got a whole meal, right? He ate everything in Caribou's stomach. It, it, that was two. Number one, I have my boy Shanks. I, I don't think this was surprising. Ooh, Shanks, it number was one. Shanks, I would have lied about it being 2021. is 2022. One of the best feats ever. We already perceived him as one of the strongest characters, but I mm. here's my hot take of the day, okay? Here's my hot take. I, feel like this I was think a good current Shanks is comparable to Prime Roger. <laughs> I've said it before. People said I was crazy. That's how I feel about Shanks. I feel like the new school, they're not that far behind the, the old school. They Damn. might be even on the same level. That's my top 30. Again, give that me your such top a good video, though. below. I know you guys are going to dissect and shit on my list, shit on my logic. <laughs> That's fine. Top 30 lists are opinions, biases, and weak arguments about why a character should be there. That's all it is. Should be fun. And so here we are. I may do an all-time list as well, because I do that every year, technically, too. all-time list? I may Toro pulverizing a group of one shot. In Wano. Oh damn! I just love how he looks. How Zoro looks. It's probably the coolest looking guy. Yo, in he sliced them in fashion, half the of the quarters, dude. <laughs> when he befriends Don Oyasu, who later turns out to be an integral character in the arc. Throughout the series, Zoro has Dang. a mysterious tendency what a to man. connect with characters Three swords. of some importance. And in 102, in a twist of fate, he encounters Yasu-san, the man with the most infectious laugh. To repay his <laughs> benefactor for a meal, Zoro you can ends tell. up in a gambling den where he uncovers a cheat manipulating Gamba? the dice. A melee ensues and Zoro is surrounded by the sword-wielding hoodlums. Enraged but calm, the master of dude. the three Sword style knocks them all out in a jiffy using just one blade and without so That's much crazy. as <laughs> He literally <laughs> tore them apart, man. Next up is Zoro's stupendous knife slash. This one too is in one. That's a cool dagger, man. Sending waves? Oh, that's badass. Wait, he literally sliced him. Serving as his introduction in the ongoing arc, this okay, is Zoro, okay. to all of us who missed the warrior pirate in the preceding Whole Cake Island arc. Apprehended on false murder charges, Zoro, disguised as the Ronin Zoro Juro, is sentenced to death by seppuku or ritual suicide. Stating oh, in a white kimono, Damn. Zoro's perfectly at home playing the role of a samurai. In fact, yeah. the Wano arc is tailor-made for our favorite swordmaster. Just as he gets ready to slit his so stomach, cool. he exposes the magistrate as the actual culprit, and with a slash of his hilt, the she played the uno reverse considerable distance part of the monster trio with luffy and sanji zoro certainly lives up to his name in this unbelievable display of strength and skill he did the uno reverse to catch the attention of the entire country contrary to the fervent appeal of his samurai allies to lay low it's always a roller coaster ride whenever zoro ends up lost what yo that is so sick That dragon is not real though, right? Literally created a tornado, man. Right after slicing up a galleon ship in two, the demon pirate hunter faces off against Hody Jones, which is our pick Goddamn, for the Zoro, eight man. Underwater as well. Jeez, dude. I'm starting to like Zoro a lot more. I knew he's a cool character, but... Straw Hats lands smack in the middle of a coup d'etat in Ryugyu Kingdom. Zoro takes on Hody Jones, the captain of the new Fishman Pirates, as his opponent. A great white shark Fishman, Easy Hody kill is a for him. powerhouse of raw strength and unmatched in combat, especially against humans. Now, earlier on in the for series, sure. Zoro had quite a tough time dealing with another Fishman, Arlong. But two years of training under his rival and mentor, Dracul Mihawk, finally plays off. Hody, the perfect mean Wait, machine Ooh, to test nice. Zoro's skills, is left bloodied and unconscious. Fighting underwater while holding his breath and against a fish man to boot isn't something Because he can breathe that. underwater, right? The fish guy? They, they have the ability to breathe underwater, right? Play against Hody shows that he is well on his way to surpassing Mihawk as the sense. world's greatest swordsman. One sword now. He didn't even... Wait, he did the Tanjiro on him! Lucky number seven is none other than the pink. I mean, not Tanjiro, Zenitsu. He did the OG Zenitsu on him.
Damn. Lucky number seven is none other than the picturesque clash in snow-clad Ringo between Zorro and Killer. Slice. Wait, is he fight? Ooh, this got got right sides in the middle for of an intense battle with a demon human hybrid called Gyukimaru. Zoro's forced into an even more dangerous contest by Gamazo, an elusive manslayer in Wano. Gamazo, we now know, is Killer, a member of the Kid Pirates who has somehow ended up Why working is his as face a hired The fight between two fellow members of the worst generation is nothing short of spectacular. A very Japanese duel between a the troll guarding and manslayer, the... the speed and destruction Rich? are out of this world to the point of changing the landscape. Their bloodline Last is palpable. Even though Killer manages to stab Zoro with his scythe, no thanks to Gyukimaru's oh. interference, Zoro hacks him down with his next attack. It's plain to see here that Zoro has outdone most of his generation in the art of sword and gets extra points for showing I love no that animation of that. to take on two capable opponents at once in his desire to protect the weak and the defenseless. That looks sick, man. Onigiri? Isn't that food? <laughs> Straight through him. And number six <laughs> is Zoro single handedly besting a hundred bounty hunters. Where they go? Guns? Oh, a hundred of them? A hundred of them. The action takes place early in the series, <laughs> but remains badass to this day. When this it's like nothing to him, man. I love it. Peak, they're treated to a raucous party. I love now, that. we all know that this private crew loves a good jamboree, but not all that glitters is gold. Deep in slumber from the drinking and merrymaking, oh my God, Luffy crew is surrounded by members of Baroque Works, a clandestine company of bounty hunters. What follows is a prelude to the impending face-off with Crocodile, the Straw Hat's first major antagonist. Zoro, the only one awake and very much up to the task, takes on the challenge with relish. Yo, everyone is just now, sleeping and eating. A youthful and rash Zoro who's always up for a fight. But as he is now, he's still perfectly capable of devastating damage. Zoro wipes out almost all the bounty hunters and proves that against an army of guns, <laughs> trusted swords will triumph any day. No way, dude. Just use uh, Luffy's stomach to jump up, man. Yes, buddy. And Luffy and didn't even know. Now, we head straight to the Alabaster arc where Zoro engages in a one-on-one -on -one contest with Daz Bones, the Man of Steel. What is that? Is that his leg? Oh Jesus, man. A Baroque works officer agent, Daz is a bounty hunter, martial artist, and swordsman. More conveniently, so his devil fruit power that allows him to turn his body into steel blades. He goes by the code name Mr. One, which indicates that he's second only to his boss, Crocodile. Daz is a hard contender and is even acknowledged by Mihawk. The henchman. He's the perfect opponent for Zoro to hone his skills. Although badly cut up by his difficult foe, we must commend the Straw Hat's That's first a cool character design, though. I like that. To win at all costs. Cutting steel is near impossible, but Zoro, with his in human strength and staggering skills manages to do just that in a most stupefying single combat. It can be counted as one of Zoro's biggest leaps in Dang. power, taking him closer to his goal of being Mihawk's successor. Wait, he did him again the same move! As Zoro slices the tricky That's peak sick. in half at number four. That is sick. I love how he holds the sword in his mouth. <laughs> Let's just cut through the world. In the Dressrosser arc, Zoro finds himself pitted like, nah. against Pika, the lead officer of the Don Quixote family. Pika can assimilate with stone that, and has just character? transformed into a humongous stone golem, making him close to invincible. With innocent lives at stake, Zoro literally flies across the kingdom to get within striking distance of Pika and unleashes a fierce attack with his haki Rip imbued Pika, blades. He not only manages to cut the stone monster in half, but continues to slice and dice oh. until Pika's human form oh. has nowhere to hide. This here is Zoro at his best. Intelligent, intuitive, dependable, and supremely cool. He's the kind of champion you want when your he life just is in danger. Him. Thinking back to Dressrosa, Zoro's dismantling of Pika is a surely attack. a foreshadowing of what was to follow. Starting from that point, it's as if One Piece creator Echiro Oda was grooming us for Wano and Zoro's exploits in the land of the samurai. And boy, is it keeping us glued to our seats. I'm going super sane. One of the most selfless acts in One Piece is at number Aww. three. It's Zoro's meaningful encounter with Bartholomew oh. Kuma. 
<laughs> He's so fast, man. Is he the fastest character? I don't know. Right after ending the balloon in Thriller Bark, the exhausted Straw Hats are unlucky enough to run into Kuma, who's come for their captain. With an unconscious Luffy out for the count and the rest of the crew no better off, Zoro's the last man standing. In a deeply memorable moment, Such a Zoro good friend, offers Zoro. up his life in exchange for Luffy's, even going down on his knees and giving up wow. on his dream of becoming the greatest swordsman. The deal with oh, Kuma man. means taking on all the pain in Luffy's so sweet. body. Staying true to his Bushido code, Zoro asks Kuma to change location so no one can can witness his sacrifice stoic steadfast and courageous to a fault when sanji later finds him alive but standing in a massive radius of splattered blood zoro replies nothing happened this moment will live on in the history of one piece as the most honorable act of any crew what about us <laughs> We're entering the big league now, and at number two, we have Zoro stopping Big Mom and Kaido's combined attack at Onigashima. The conclusive battle atop the Skull Dome sees Zoro, Luffy, I whatever I see me, Big Mama, I just the two most feared and powerful pirates of their time. The Yonko duo clearly don't think too much of their challenges and aim to bring them down in a single shot. With zero hope of dodging the attack, the rookies can Holy only watch dude. in horror as the atmosphere around them crackles. That looks that is insane. Until Zoro, without a thought for himself, the man himself, to his allies and blocks the massive blast, deflecting it upwards and sacrificing himself. A firm believer of the Again? code of facing attack. Again, on, Zoro never flinches, even in the face Zorro. of imminent death. Having come a long way since joining Luffy, Zoro has never what shown weakness from friends. the very beginning, and he's always had his captain's back, as we saw in the episode Aww. with Kuma. I love it, man. I love honorable characters. And they're like loyal, you know. Zoro's attack on his own wasn't enough. Zoro slashes Kaido and gives him a scar to remember for our top pick. Ah, today. damn. Oh, damn. Honestly, I like this animation, man. The power up is sick. Once again, God stand, to dude. protect his captain, the swordsman makes a he will do anything for, go for uh, Kaido Luffy. into finishing him off first. Having already sustained serious Did injuries get more from Kaido and Big Mom's attacks earlier, he makes one last stand against the Beast Pirate's boss. In a continuation of his Damn. Black Blades moment against Pika, Zoro attacks Kaido with a heavenly nine sword style yes. display, leaving a deep gash on the Yonko's chest. He lost to that, Kiki huh? Oden had cut him more than 20 years ago. That he calls his attack Dead Man's Game shows his strong resolve to lay down his life for his captain's cause making the moment even more significant an openly impressed kaido hints that zoro may have just used conqueror's haki zoro himself is unaware uh -huh. of this fact as fans who've witnessed his progress we now know it's only a matter of time before he assumes the mantle of the world's greatest swordsman Dude, my respect for zoro just went way up uh i actually love him what Damn. And that's it for the that top 10 sick. Zoro showcases of power. Please click. Anyways, guys, so that'll be it for the video. It was insane. I really love these. Um, if you guys want them more, obviously, let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching this video. And also, thank you very much to all of my supporters over at Patreon. If you'd like to see these videos earlier, head on to Patreon. And if you want to see more videos, click the videos here and here for more videos from me.